Hi, we meet again on the topic of cell division. The content standard for today's lesson is 6.2 cell cycle and mitosis. The learning standards first 6.2.2 arrange the stages of mitosis in the correct order. 6.2.3 Communicate about the cell structure of each stage of mitosis and cytokinesis by using label diagrams. 6.2.4 Compare and contrast mitosis and cytokinesis in animal and plant cells. And 6.2.5 Discuss the necessity of mitosis. The success criteria for today's lessons are the first one. Arrange stages of mitosis correctly. Second, explain each stage of mitosis correctly. Third, explain cytokinesis correctly. And the last success criteria is compare and contrast mitosis and cytokinesis in animal and plant cells. Now, what is mitosis? Mitosis is the division of the parent's cell nucleus into two nuclei. So now each nucleus will contain the same number of chromosomes with the nucleus of the parent cell and each nucleus also have the same genetic content with the nucleus of the parent cell. There are four stages in mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. They are in order. P, met, P, M, A, T, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We go to the first stage of mitosis, that is prophase. In the nucleus, the thread-like structure, that is chromatin, start to shorten and thicken to form a chromosome structure that can be seen under the light microscope. The chromosome is made up of two identical threads called sister chromatids. In the diagram, it is colored in yellow and blue. So both sister chromatids are joined at the structure that we call as centromere. We are still under the prophase stage. The nuclear membrane, that is the dotted line, started to disintegrate. The nucleus inside the nucleus will disappear. The centriole, that is yellow in color, will move to the opposite pole and the spindle fiber start to form. Now, plant cells do not have centriole, if you still remember, but it can still form spindle fiber during mitosis. Now, we move to the second stage, that is metaphase. In metaphase, centrioles are at the opposite poles of the cells. The spindle fibers will maintain the chromosome at the equatorial plane. Equatorial plane is the imaginary line at the center of the cell. The chromosomes become aligned in the single row along the equatorial plane. Metaphase will end when the centromere begins to divide. Going to the next stage, that is anaphase. In anaphase, the centromere already divide into two. Hence, the sister chromatids separate. Spindle fiber become shortened, contract, and sister chromatid are attracted to the opposite poles. Anaphase will end when the chromatid arrive at the pole of the cell.
The last stage of mitosis is known as telophase. In telophase, the chromatids are at the opposite poles and they are now called as daughter chromosome. Each pole now contains one set of complete and identical chromosomes. Chromosomes are shaped again as fine chromatin threads. Nucleoli and nuclear membrane form again, spindle fiber will disappear. The telophase stage is then followed by cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm. It happens immediately after the nucleus form at the end of the telophase. The diagram shows the process of cytokinesis in animal cell and in plant cell. Cytokinesis in animal cell occurs when the plasma membrane constrict in the middle of the cell between the two nuclei. Microfilaments at the point of constriction will contract, causing the cell to constrict until it splits into two, forming two daughter cells. Each daughter cell has a diploid number of chromosomes. Cytokinesis in plant cell begins when the four vesicles combine to form cell plates at the center of the cell. Refer to the diagram in the first picture. The cell plates are surrounded by a new plasma membrane and a new cell wall substance is formed among the spaces of the cell plates. The cell plates expand outwards until they combine with the plasma membranes. Cellulose fiber are produced by the cells to strengthen the new cell walls. Two daughter cells are formed and again each daughter cell has a diploid number of chromosomes. These pictures shows some example of necessity of mitosis. The first picture show the embryo development and organism growth. Mitosis will help the cell growth occur in the embryo. Second picture shows how mitosis help organism such as hydra to produce new individuals through the formation of new buds. Through the mitosis process, the lizard is able to grow a new tail. If it still breaks, this is called as regeneration. Second picture shows the body injured. Mitosis will produce new cells to replace cells that are dead or damaged. We have come to the end of my video. Thank you for listening. For my students, please refer to the Classwork tab in your Google Classroom for the quiz on this topic. All the best. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos on biology topics. Stay safe and bye.